All right, guys, so the students of FIRE 117. This week, we are still going to be reviewing the RO2 line system in class. We are still going to do the same change of direction we did last week, just for review. But the only difference for this week is that we're going to add a piggyback mechanical advantage system. So I'm going to go over it in the video right now. Say um, the, the person is 150 feet or 120 feet down the, down the uh, embankment. They go down, and then I set up my Z-ray, and here I am, and I go to extend the Z-ray, and then my bag is following me. So why is my bag following me? My bag is following me because I ran out of rope. Okay, so this system's not gonna work because I don't have enough rope to do my operation. Okay, so like I said, I could extend the rope with another rope bag with a knot. The only problem is I can't pass that knot through my, through my pulleys and my descent device. So what am I gonna do? So that's the question. Now, now I wanna follow them up, but I can't, right? So the question is what am I gonna do? So one of the things I can do for a, a, a hauling or, or raising operation is instead of an inline mechanical advantage system using this um, the, the existing rope, what I can do is I can do a piggyback system with a second rope bag, and I'm going to set up an MA system outside of my system and then piggyback it on to my existing system. So this is what we're going to do. And it doesn't take a whole lot of equipment. So what we're going to do is use two double pulleys, which I have here, and I'm going to set it up, set it up right next to my line. So I have my rope bag. I have another separate rope, and I'm going to start creating Z's, just like we we did with the, just like we did before. Okay, at the apex of each of the each bite of the Z, I'm going to go ahead and put this pulley. Just like that. Okay. Put a second pulley. There you go. And I'm going to come around, finish it off on the double pulley. I'm going to flip up, continue it around, and rig it up. Just like that. Now, on this one where the, where the knot is, I'm actually going to put it in my system just like this. Okay. So this right here is my mechanical advantage that I can use. Now, I know from experience that if this is to the anchor, if this is to the load, this is a four to one mechanical advantage system. If I switch it up, and I have this side to my anchor, and that side to my load, that is a five to one. Okay, and we'll go over that in class a little bit. So once I have this, I can then do what's called the piggyback system. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to my, to my system right here. I'm going to hook it up to my, to my existing system. And then I'm going to get rid of my inline system.
So what I did was I got rid of my inline 3 to 1 Z rig, and I'm going to replace it with my piggyback system, which all I got to do is take my existing crystal cord, and boom. And then just setting it, setting it would be the same. So there you go. So instead of an inline 3 to 1 Z rig or an inline 3 4, 5 to 1 Z rig uh, mechanical vent system, I can have an outside system that I built attach it to the same system and, and use it this way. Now just know that the main line attendant in this situation would be the hall team leader. He would manage this person card and the hall team would basically pull this uh, just like they would pull the uh, inline mechanical advantage system. So there you go. This would be another option. Okay? So instead of inline system, this is what's called a piggyback system. Okay, so I will see you guys on Friday. We will be reviewing our two line system. You're still going to be using the change of direction, getting a little more practice with that. The only difference this week is we will be using the piggyback system for the mechanical advantage. Uh, as you saw in the video. There is no new anchor that I'm going to introduce this week. So what that means is during our hands-on practice, you may choose whatever anchor uh, that we've gone over so far in class. I also want to take this opportunity to remind you that you need to be practicing your knots and hitches that we had done earlier in the semester. We will be skills testing later on in a few weeks uh, for a grade, so keep practicing. So until then, I'll see you guys on Friday. Stay safe out there.